ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome on stage Martin Fry. I think in a way, um, playing the sets here at Billboard Live, it kind of brought home to me, the audiences are a lot of different ages, so I think our music's quite cosmopolitan, and quite funky, and there's a strain through everything we've ever done, so it's kind of nice playing that in uh, this environment. And I've noticed a lot of the younger guys are wearing the tuxes again, you know, there's this whole kind of, I don't know, our look comes from the Temptations and r and I suppose, and funk and soul and... and Bowie and Roxy music, so all these years on, yeah, I think there's a whole generation interested in those source ideas. Yeah. The Lex Gonna Love, I don't know. Uh, I'm making a record at the moment which is kind of an extension of that, but I don't know, trilogy, yeah, that might work, yeah. And I do like Netflix, I'm, I'm happy to watch you know, 10 episodes of Maniac, so, you know, maybe there's 10 episodes of The Lex Can of Love, you never know. <laughs> Around about 10, 15 years ago, I started playing live again, and all over the world, and I realised there was a whole audience looking for it. Some big tunes, big choruses, big shoulder pads, yeah. I think, you know, the honest answer is I think that the songs have stood the test of time. Well, in uh, the early 80s I came uh, and played shows here with ABC, yeah, and it was kind of, um, I don't know, boy bands didn't exist, but we were kind of teenage idols back then, you know, I was like in my early 20s. So, you know, you go to a restaurant and then kids would congregate outside and start pushing the dots in through the window. It's kind of very extreme, it was like, uh, you know, being in Duran Duran or something, so, or the Beatles. So, it's very nice now to come all these years later and play the set and um, get a chance to meet the fans and speak with them and hang out with them. Thanks for coming out tonight.